Hey, what's up? It's your boy J. Will coming back with another one. And yes, it has gone down in Jacksonville. I am talking about the man, Urban Meyer, getting fired today, tonight by the Jacksonville Jaguars. The upper office, the front office has let him go. They said enough is enough. They're tired of the, of the antics. They're tired of the bad coaching. And Urban Meyer, after 13 games, a 2-11 and 11 record, he has been fired. He has been kicked out by the Jacksonville Jaguars after having, you know, a great college career, you know, one of the best um, to ever do it. He has like over 187 wins, around 32 losses in college football, um, three natties. But you find you, you quickly find out that the the things you do in college might not work in the league. Um, you can't coach the same. You kind of have to treat the players differently. And you can tell by a lot of situations that were going down that Urban Meyer was, you know, he, he's just full of himself. You know, he, he got the three natties. He's not too humble about it. Uh, you know, he's the monarchy, you know, it's his way or no way at all, or he's going to try to embarrass you. And there's been, you know, plenty of altercations to show this. Uh, the one with Josh Lambeau, uh, it broke today as well. He kicked Josh Lambeau and his quick kicking foot um, while at practice. Um, he kicked him in his leg, you know, for no apparent reason. He just said, you need a effing, you know, you need a kick better, you know. Uh, but no, you know, no real reason behind it. Just, you know, doing antics like that. Uh, you know, the boy Josh Lambeau did retaliate. He told him, don't do that again. You know, don't like chill out, coach. You know, <laughs> you know, we ain't no college students over here. You can't be kicking me like that. You know what he told him? He said, I'm the effing head coach. I'm going to do it my way. It's my way or no way at all. You know, so you, you just deal with it, you know. And uh, best believe he was let go after a few games within the season. But, I mean, that could have happened either any way, either way it went because, you know, Lambeau wasn't playing good. He was missing a lot of kicks. But that's just one of the antics that, you know, the man Urban Meyer had going on while coaching. Uh, just last week broke as well. Marvin Jones having an altercation with uh, Urban Meyer as well because Urban Meyer was frying the receivers. <laughs> he said they weren't getting no separation. He said, you know, y'all are running like my granny out there. You know, y'all can't get away from nobody. <laughs> like, he was frying them, man. And, and Marvin Jones wasn't having it. <laughs> you know, Marvin Jones, you know, veteran, nice veteran receiver. He stuck up for his guys. And he was like, Coach, you, yeah, you're not going to be talking to us like that. We're not in college. You know, this isn't Florida. You know, this isn't OSU. This isn't Ohio. You know, we're not 18, 19, 20-year-olds. You can't talk to us like that. We're not going for that. And it's not only was he doing this to the players, but he was doing this to the coaches as well. Many of the coaches, you know, having many altercations, uh, you know, having verbal fights with Urban Meyer, you know, getting into, you know, personnel decisions uh, multiple times throughout this year. He's he's forgotten that James Robinson has not been on the field. He might have fumbled it or, you know, had one bad play. He takes him out and he forgets to put him back into the game. What head coach, you know, just forgets something like that. Uh, so, you know, as good of a, I guess, a leader Urban Meyer might be, um, you know, he just can't lead the same way uh, in the NFL. You know, they're not just going to bow down to him like uh, probably a lot of more college students would because, you know, it's his way or, you know, uh, you know, I'm back at the crib, you know, or, you know, he's going to put in a bad word to the next coach that tries to get me. But, you know, clearly Urban Meyer. He wasn't a good fit for the NFL. I don't think many people thought it would work uh, other than just his greatness as a coach in college. But, uh, you know, it doesn't work like that for everybody. There's only a few coaches that can deliver in college and deliver in the NFL. And uh, best believe he was not one of them. <laughs> so, you know, Urban Meyer has been letting go. He has been fired. 
um, you know, maybe the Jacksonville Jaguars can really start moving up now. Maybe we can start seeing some progress from uh, Trevor Lawrence because it even seemed like he was getting tired of Urban Meyer as well. I wouldn't be surprised if he had a little something to do with it. Uh, you know, um, I'm not, I, I doubt that he ever tried to step to Trevor Lawrence because, you know, he's the face of the franchise. But, you know, I'm, I'm sure he saw a lot of the, the things that Urban Meyer was doing. And, you know, he was probably ready for a change as well. So in his first season, 2-11, worst offense in the NFL, Urban Meyer has been fired. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. You know, he has to get up out of there. But you already know it's your boy, J. Will, coming back with another one. You already know, smash that like button. You already know, sub to your boy. We coming with it.